Dude, did you hear about the new monk changes? Yeah, yeah, I'm not terribly excited about them. What are you talking about? They're proficient in simple weapons. They've got a range. Yeah, I get it. Like, that's true. But I mean, let's be honest. I'm actually not going to stop complaining until they get the ability to fucking fly. Hi everybody, welcome to Game Gorgon. My name is Krug. I'm Indigo. Today we're here to talk to you about Pathfinder Patch Codes 1.3, the most confusingly written piece of paper on the planet. Because the gray background <sighs> stuff is the stuff that you gotta look at, the white background stuff, but they're intermixed. So the biggest and first uh, piece of information about the patch notes is the fact that untrained has moved from a minus two penalty down to a minus four. <laughs> Yes. The reason for this apparently was because the difference between being untrained in something and trained in something wasn't enough of a gap. Never touching or never like doing acrobatics in your life and like having training was the difference between two. Picking a lock? Like have yeah. you ever tried to learn how to pick? Because I have my untrained skill in picking a lock is negative a million. Yeah. Negative four is, is a step in the right direction if it's not the good place to be. And and having that four point difference, I think is a huge difference. There is some complaints that people are having. Yes, it. and it's about a tenant of game design that basically says you should reward your players instead of punishing them. You didn't pick the training in this, and so you get a penalty to it. The game design philosophy for it would be to improve like your training by four, and then increase DCs by four, kind of. Like yeah. to basically balance it upwards instead of balancing it downwards. There are so many penalties in Pathfinder as yeah. a whole. Yeah. That if you're going to get rid of that, why even play the You'd game? You'd have to redesign the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Well, and here's, here's my take on it, is that yes, it is penalizing a player for not picking uh, uh, a certain skill. But when I do have a skill trained and you don't, and you have a minus four, and you can't do it because of that minus four, and I can, that makes me feel great. Sure. I invested like part of my character into making sure that it could do that thing and you didn't do anything, but you can still do it? Like, no, that's bull well, That makes me as the person that chose it feel like garbage. When I visually see a negative two or a negative four, I go, I'm bad at this. Yeah. I, I, I visually and immediately know that I'm bad at this. So if the DM says, oh, you want to cross that ledge? Oh, well, it's going to be an uh, acrobatics check to keep your balance. And I look down at my paper and I have a minus four. I'm going to go, I got to find a new way. Then minus four isn't necessarily a penalty. It's a visual representation that you're bad at this versus neutral. Yeah. Zero to me is neutral. At the same time, I'm DMing and not playing. I'm, 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 projecting how I would act if I were a player. Yeah. You guys are level seven right now, and so that minus four penalty is still a three. I don't think it's as big of a deal as people are making it out to be. Right. That's, I think, the baseline thing. I don't think it's a big a deal as people are making it out to be. Is it a big deal? Let us know down in the comments. Ooh, get engaged. <laughs> <laughs> I already did that, I'm actually getting married. Oh, good job. <laughs> Next up on the list, we have uh, a new mechanic that you can use with medicine checks. Yes. It's called Treating Wounds. It was added to the game because it felt like one of the few ways to heal in between combat was magic, and that wasn't really sitting well with people. And so now with a medicine check, you can uh, take 10 minutes mm -hmm. and treat up to six people, including yourself, mm -hmm. and heal your con modifier math that I forgot. Con times your level. Cool. That's an amount. Or just your level if your con mod zero because that would suck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you well not just zero, zero or a negative or a negative one. <laughs> hey, congratulations! Suck. You healed for negative. You take fifth. six damage. Those aren't medicine kits. That's thieve tools. It's just <laughs> daggers. The next change is identification and repair, all basically reduced in time. So there are a yeah. bunch of feats that you can take to improve your uh, status on how well you're able to repair or identify magical things. Mm -hmm. uh, where it said one hour is now 10 minutes, where it said 10 minutes is now down to one minute. One minute is down to one round, and one round is down to one action. I just had a weird brain malfunction. <laughs> you're like, oh crap, my armor broke. Be -be -be good. <laughs> no, 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 it's one hit. Yeah. One solid hit <laughs> on the tummy repairs the shoulder piece that broke off. <laughs> exactly. It's like the engineer from TF2. <laughs> now it's time for rapid fire class changes. For the alchemists, the cost of residence points for elixirs have been dropped to nothing. That's actually a huge change. We can't rapid fire that. Yeah. So it started off with alchemists use a residence point to craft something. The player used a residence point to use that crafted item. And then it dropped to 
So the alchemist crafted an item for no resonance points and the player used a resonance point to use it. And now it's just the alchemist crafted an item and the player uses it with no resonance points. Mm -hmm. That's gonna open up doors for the alchemist. S specifically with healing. Yeah. Like you, you're, it basically was punishing an alchemist for trying to be a healer. Exactly, which, why? Like Monk now has gained proficiency with simple weapons. Hey, finally have ranged attacks. Come on. No. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. It's good, it's good. I like it. Thank you. To be honest, would have preferred something more flavorful. Sure. As opposed to making me stop using my fists, like, um, like, Kameha or something. Get the force of the yeah. wind and yeah. You, you, yeah, I or, or you know what else would have been cool? Let them cast that cantrip that lets them throw stuff. That would have been cool too. Oh, sure. They're trying to keep monks away from like the magical aspects sure. of or it. Or let me, like, make me proficient in thrown improvised weapons. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas that are flavorful. Yeah. I don't know how the mechanic would work. I just think they're more interesting than I have a bow. I will admit it would be ridiculous for me to match a longbow's range with my fist. Yep. But it would make me feel very strong. And I, I think the simple weapon goes with the idea of the monk being able to punch so hard that it forces the wind to like hit a specific yeah. target. That sounds like a very specific direction mm -hmm. you want to go with your monk versus just... That would be like a tree of feet. It's exactly. not just like, oh, hey, by the way. For paladins, their blade of justice time extends if the enemy attacks an ally instead of the paladin. I, this is the first time I've seen this mechanic before mm -hmm. in role-playing games in general. Yeah, it's I'm a not, good taunty It's a good taunty thing. Like, it's not forcing them to come attack you, it, which is boring. Like, it's useful, but it's boring. You get to hurt that guy way more. And the way he can stop it is to come try and hurt you. Is he gonna be able to hurt you? Probably not. It's gonna be funny to watch him try though. But that's still one round that they lose and, and your ally get, can get away yeah, exactly. or not get attacked from them. Yep. Ranger, let's start off by saying that double slice is gone. Flat out gone. Monster hunt is now used when using hunt target versus its own action. Rangers also gained a feat called hunted shot where you shoot two projectiles and if you hit both, you add the damage up as if it were one hit. This is very similar to the monk's fury of blows yep. where you hit multiple times hmm. and it all counts as one. Hmm. There's another feat. Flurry of Blows. <laughs> twin Takedown. Mm -hmm. uh, twin Takedown does the exact same thing, yep. except for with melee weapons. So here's the difference. Right. You get Fury of Blows for free. I do. Both of these are a feat that they have to take to get this ability. True. Also, with the Twin Strike one, yep. if the second weapon that they attack with isn't a finesse weapon, mm -hmm. or isn't agile, I'm sorry, sure. isn't agile, they get a minus two penalty on the second Ooh, attack. Okay. So there is slight differences yeah, yeah. to it. Yeah. You also get to add your your, your modifier I to do. the damage. I do get to do that. Versus the range that doesn't. The Rogue's Technique is now a chosen ability instead of just adding dex to damage. You have three options. The first is Finesse Striker, where you get to add dex to your damage. The next is Brute Attack, which allows you to sneak attack with simple weapons, as well as gaining the benefits of the Critical Strike specialization of those weapons if you get a critical success. The third is Scoundrel's Feint, where you successfully feint the target, and the target becomes flat-footed on all melee attacks attempted until your next turn. And that actually goes up if you critically succeed. Nice! Last is the Sorcerer, where you have a uh, change to the Bloodline. Mm -hmm. So previously you would get Bloodline advances, and then you get a greater Bloodline ability based right. off of the Bloodline you chose. Now those have actually been replaced with Sorcerer feats. Okay. So if Bloodline isn't the direction you wanted to take your Sorcerer... Right. You can spend them in other places. Exactly. Instead of, yep, that's good. But two new feats have also been added, which is advanced and greater a Bloodline ability. Yeah, so they kept the Bloodline advancement, but made it optional to spend to get them. Exactly. Cool, I like choice. Last but not least, something that relates directly to our armor video from last week. Shields changed in the way that they work, and thank you for the comments for telling us that this was a thing in these notes. Now when you use the shield block reaction, your shield is not going to be able to take more than one dent. So even if you do double the hardness, triple the hardness of damage, to the shield, it takes one dent. And that was just to prevent the shield from literally melting away on your arm. Head down in the comments and let us know what your thoughts about uh, patch 1.3. While you're down there, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and then head over to Twitter and talk to us there. You can talk to me on Twitter at IndigoQT. You can talk to me on Twitter at CrewQT, or you can talk to both of us down in the description where all of the rest of our social media links live. They have a nice cottage and they have soup for you if you go join them. We've been Gabe Gordon. We'll see y'all later.